Hello, I'm Tom Bainton. I'm the Endometriosis Fellow here at CCMIG. That's the Chelsea Centre for Minimally Invasive Gynaecology, which is based at Chelsea and Westminster Hospital here in London. Welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm going to explain a little bit about what we hope to put up on the YouTube channel in the coming weeks, which is going to be videos of two broad themes. Number one, we're going to be producing videos for patients, people who suffer with endometriosis and some other complex benign gynaecological conditions. These videos are going to have some general information about what endometriosis is, the sorts of services we provide here at Chelsea and Westminster, as well as some more specific educational videos um, to give you, the patient, the carer, the family member of someone who does have endometriosis, a little bit more information regarding what to expect when you come into hospital and some other details related to your surgery, including live videos of us performing laparoscopy so we can show you the sort of effects that endometriosis can have on the body, comparing what we'd expect to see in endometriosis, what we'd expect to see in a normal patient, and what we can hope to achieve through surgery. The other aspect of our YouTube channel is mainly going to be geared towards doctor's training. So that's going to be for medical students, junior doctors in training, and that includes both gynaecologists and general practitioners. And it's going to be a little bit more medically specific. So there's going to be scientific information about endometriosis, how you can hope to diagnose it, because we do know it's a fairly elusive condition. And there's a huge amount of time between women first going to usually their GP with symptoms to finally getting a diagnosis and getting onto some treatment at the tail end. It can be up to nine years in some circumstances. So we're going to be providing some information about how to hone in on endometriosis and have a high suspicion of it when you're seeing women with certain symptoms. We're also going to be providing some very specific instructional videos more related to our surgical technique. This is going to be focusing on the two main tenants of the minimal access surgery we provide here at Chelsea and Westminster. The first being laparoscopy, which involves a small camera in through the tummy button to examine the pelvis. And this can both be a diagnostic as well as a therapeutic procedure, where we can actually perform surgery to excise endometriosis in our case. As well as that, we'll be talking about performing hysteroscopies, which is a small camera that goes in through the cervix to examine the inside of the womb. And we're looking for various features there that could be related to endometriosis, or could be other conditions like polyps or fibroids, which sometimes also cause heavy and painful periods. We're gonna be looking at live surgical videos showing exactly what you can expect to go on during your laparoscopic surgery. And we're gonna be examining endometriosis in much more detail. We work as a big team here at CCMIG, so it involves people like me, the gynecologists. So we do the surgery, but we don't do it alone because we know endometriosis is a really complex condition, often involving other parts of the body. Specifically, we have an awful lot of help from our colleagues in general surgery, the colorectal team, because endometriosis has a terrible habit of living really low down in between the vagina and the rectum, often gives women quite severe symptoms. So they're always on hand to help us out and give women the best treatment of advice. Additionally, we have a lot of help from our colleagues in urology who are able to assist with excision of endometriosis when it's very close to the tubes that run between the kidney and the bladder called the ureter, or even in some cases involving the bladder itself. Just to give you a little taster of how severe endometriosis can be in some patients, here's an example of a normal pelvis. As you can see here, we have the womb in the middle, which is really nice and mobile. That means it can move around from side to side. We've got the fallopian tubes on either side, which actually hang around freely and are able to, to, to waft around inside the pelvis. The idea is they pick up the eggs after the ovulation happens, and it's inside the fallopian tube where the egg is conceived to make an embryo. And then we have the ovaries, which are around about the size of a walnut, these pale white looking things here. Now, compare this to this case of a laparoscopy. Now this is a camera looking down from the tummy button towards the pelvis of one of our patients with endometriosis. You can see here how much less movement there is in the womb, how much less movement there is in the whole pelvis, and the ovaries themselves are considerably swollen. These ovaries are actually affected by something called an endometrioma, or otherwise known as a chocolate cyst. The endometriosis in this case is built up inside the ovary over quite a long period of time, we suspect, and it's created this cyst which can cause significant pain. That's pain around the time of the period. Also pain on physical exercise or sometimes intercourse. Additionally, we work very closely with our fertility colleagues and we will certainly be producing videos together with them talking about the fertility journey that patients with endometriosis might go through because we do know, sadly, it's one of the conditions that is linked to taking a little bit longer to fall pregnant on average. So stay tuned over the coming weeks. We're going to be producing much more content, some of it specific to patients, carers, family members of people who suffer from endometriosis, and some more specific to doctors in training, medical students, and GPs. 
We will divide these up in various playlists on the channel, but do feel free to get involved with either channel and watch whatever you think would be interesting for you. One of the fantastic things about caring for women with endometriosis is just how well informed they are about their condition. It's not uncommon that we see an endometriosis patient who knows exactly the questions to ask because they're really well informed, they've done their research, they know their condition in and out, and it's an absolute pleasure to be able to look after women who come with all the questions and they know what they want to find out from us. Additionally, what we always tell our doctors in training is try and learn things from the patient's perspective. So please do watch these videos that are designed for endometriosis sufferers themselves to learn a little bit about the sorts of questions they might want to ask you in consultation. Anyway, remember to like and subscribe so you'll stay tuned for all our future updates and please do comment down below with anything specific you'd like to hear from us, whether it's what you might expect in laparoscopy, questions about treatment options for endometriosis or more surgical videos explaining different elements of gynaecology you want to find out more about. This channel is going to be really interactive, so you get involved, comment below, follow us on Instagram if you have it, we're available at ccmig.london. Look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.